Hello and welcome to Babushka Land. Today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic item sorting system with overflow protection. I have attached this item sorting system to a witch farm. So this system is built to handle all of the drops that come from a witch farm. So we have a place for redstone dust, glowstone dust, gunpowder, spider eyes, sugar, empty bottles, sticks, and all of the extra items, which are mostly potions, should end up in this row right here. Once this row of chests is full, and these hoppers at the back of it are full, the extra items will go into this item dispenser, which will dispense items into the lava, destroying them. And that is how the overflow protection part will work. You're going to need 61 hoppers, 1 anvil, 27 redstone dust, 9 redstone repeaters, 8 redstone comparators, 7 redstone torches, 44 building blocks, 67 chests, 8 item frames, 12 glass, 2 levers, 1 dispenser, 1 lava bucket, and 7 times 44 items of your choice. Alright, let's get started. So I've already built this off camera once. This is the platform that we're going to use. Up on the top over here is an AFK witch farm. And over here is where the drops are deposited. So with this AFK Witch Farm, I'm getting pretty good drops, but I'm also getting way too many potions. All of these potions are interrupting the production of gunpowder, redstone dust, and glowstone dust, which is what I actually want to get from this farm. It's like, once you have one or two potions, like, who cares? Do you really need potions? I've seen some YouTubers recently uh, talk about how witch farms are so great because of potions, but when do you actually use potions? Come on, I never use potions. First off, we're going to put a lever down by this chest here. We're going to switch it on. And now we're going to attach a hopper underneath the chest there. Items are not flowing into this chest because the lever is on and it's causing this block to have a signal which is causing this hopper to not take in any items. Once that hopper is placed, you can then put a chest under that hopper. Place the temporary block here, and out this way. You can take out those temporary blocks and feed some hoppers into them. This is how the hopper line is going to function. We are then going to place four layers of chests. So tower up a bit and grab your chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. We can feed four hoppers into those chests. After you've got your hoppers down, you can place one, two blocks going out like this, one down. One temporary block here, one block there, one block there, and we can smash this one here. Hop up here, place a repeater down. And place one block on top of it. Then hop on top, put a comparator down like this, and you can put some redstone down like so. Next, make sure you shift click and attach the hopper to the comparator. Once you have one structure like this, all you have to do is repeat the same thing six more times. I've done that seven times here, but that will make sense soon. First, extend it out from the repeater. Then somehow hop on top and place six repeaters down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can build the blocks outwards again. Oh, I almost forgot for the uh, for the general structure, you also need a redstone torch right here. Make sure it's not right here. That's incorrect. Right here on the top corner. So we're gonna place those redstone torches throughout the uh, throughout the structure. 
Then we're going to come back up, hop on top of the chests, and put those comparators down. You can fill the rest of the redstone dust in. You can fill the rest of the redstone dust in. So you should have one comparator, two repeaters left, and six redstone dust left. All of your torches should be underneath over here. And make sure your repeaters are facing the right way and are all placed on this block right here. You can hop back onto your chests, grab your hoppers, and shift click and make sure the comparator is highlighted, and then go through and place your hoppers. Once that's done, everything should look like this. Next up, we're going to build the overflow system. So first, make sure you have a hole like so. Grab your lava bucket, place it in there. Grab your dispenser, place it like that. And now we can build a glass cage around the dispenser so that you can watch the items get destroyed and also for safety reasons. You don't want to walk on top of that accidentally while you're building this whole thing out. Just like so. Next, we're going to hop on top of the dispenser, place a comparator just like that, place a redstone repeater like so, then grab your last redstone repeater and place it like this. Grab your redstone dust and place it like so. From there, grab whatever random block you're deciding to build with and place it just like this. Afterwards, grab a hopper and a chest. And from there, if you have any items that you don't want, you can test to see if your dispenser is working. As you can see, my dispenser is shooting all of that wood into the lava, which means all items will be destroyed by this dispenser, except for netherite items. You can grab one more block of choice, go to the hopper, shift click, place it there, attach a lever to it, switch it on, and now if you put items inside of the chest, the hopper will be locked so it will not dispense items. Now you can decide whether you want the items to be dispensed of or not. Now we can go inside of our item sorter and attach hoppers to all of the chests. Make sure you shift click. Once that is done, we're going to attach a hopper line to the item dispenser. You can also place one hopper facing down into these chests here. Your potions are going to accumulate inside of these four chests. Your hoppers can go three above the chest there, and then you can branch out this way and come over this way. The hopper line should go continuously from the dispenser over here through the item sorter and go all the way back to the chest where the items input from. Next you can grab your item frames and slap them on top. Since I've attached this item sorter to a witch farm, the witch farm produces seven different items. So it produces redstone dust, glowstone dust, gunpowder, spider eyes, sugar, glass bottles, sticks, and it also produces random potions. So the potions are unstackable and the unstackable items are gonna go into this chest here. So this chest line will just fill up with the unstackable items. Once it is full, the unstackable items will go to the dispenser and get destroyed by the lava. So if you're attaching this to a witch hut, you can attach your corresponding items that you want to organize. And if you're just building this on your own, you can always attach the items that you want to organize yourself. Next up, we're going to place the anvil. And I'm going to individually grab these pre-made stacks of 44. And I'm going to name all of these sticks Babushka. Once you've named your throwaway item, it, it doesn't have to be a stick, but I'm using a stick in this case. It can be whatever item that you have too many of. Place the item that you want to go into the filtration system, and then place 44 of whatever item you are using as your filler item. Just like that. So next I'm doing glowstone, I'm going to put 44 of these guys in. 1, 2, 3... 39, 44.
Now we're gonna do spider eyes. Delicious. 44. Next we're gonna do sugar. Oh no, that was too many. See, what happens when you put too many in is the items will just drop, so you definitely want to make sure you have 44 going. So I'm going to take that out, go 1, 2, 3, 41 is there, and I'm going to put one sugar in there. Now I can grab the sugar and the babushkas from the chest there. I've got glass, 32, 36 babushkas, okay, 40, 41, 1, 2, 3, 44, perfect. Next up, what was that, glass bottles? Next up, what do we have? Sticks, just sticks. One stick, it's gonna look a little confusing, but it'll all make sense, trust me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I have 44 babushkas left, but I made a mistake because this is for the potions and these are non-stackable items. Never ever place more of your placeholder items, so this, Babushka is my placeholder item. Never put extra placeholder items into your input chest. If you put placeholder items into your input chest, it will destroy your entire sorting system and you will have to replace your placeholder items exactly as you have them here. So I probably won't need any more babushkas, so I'm going to put them away. So once your placeholders are set and everything is together, your item sorting system will be complete. Your stackable items will be stacked accordingly. Your unstackable items will go into the unstackable section. And the overflow will go into the dispenser to the left. So we can test out the item sorting system to see if it works now. I'm going to throw in all these extra drops here. And we'll put a hopper in the front, see where the hopper goes. And let's turn it on. So now the items are draining. The glowstone dust should be piling up in the glowstone dust section. And yes it is, that's great. The hopper should be in the potion section over here. Perfect. The hopper is a stackable item, but essentially all the extra items will go into this uncategorized box here. Since this is attached to an AFK witch farm, I think the only unstackable items I'll be getting, or the only extra items in general I, I will be getting, are going to be potions. So the potions should fill up in this chest right here. And once all of these chests are filled up, I think that's plenty of potions. The hoppers up here will start to move the extra items into the dispenser. So now the sugar cane is going down. If I put these potions in the front here, let's see what happens to the potions. Okay, so the potions are ending up exactly where they should go. I also want to test if the dispenser part is working as well. So I'm going to uh, skip ahead here and put these glass bottles here. We're pretending that the item sorting system is completely full. Hello, zombie. So the glass bottles have landed in the chest right here. And they are being prevented from going into the dispenser because of the lever. So if we flick the lever, the glass bottles now shoot out of the dispenser and go into the lava and are destroyed. So that's exactly how you make overflow protection work in your item sorting system. If I were to leave my character AFK here at this farm and I had this lever off, all of the extra items that I don't need should shoot. And once this area is full, everything will go into the dispenser and be shot out through there. Now, if we check here, 
things are starting to fill up. We've got lots of gunpowder, we've got spider eyes, we've got sugar, we've got glass bottles, and we've even got sticks organized. That is great. So I've left this so I've left this AFK farm on overnight, which means it's been producing many, many, many items. So let's take a look and see how the automatic item sorter worked out. All of the redstone dust is in one place. All of the glowstone dust is in one place. All the gunpowder is there. Spiderizer here. Sugar is organized. Glass bottles are organized. Sticks are organized. And we have this uh, potion area, which has, yeah, it's filled up. Even here it's filled up. So I guess the overflow has all been going to the automatic trash dispenser here. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.